Times. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dollface. We'd like to welcome to this first playthrough of Long Live the Queen. I have played this game before and died many times before, but it has been a while. So please bear with me as I will try and make her live as long and as healthy and as happy as possible. So let's start the game. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year and prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We'd pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us, on you. <sighs> I will be here to guide you until your coordination, for the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read this brief introduction to how the game works. No, I don't think I will today. So I'll just say, I've played this before. So, if anyone's played, oh my gosh, it's a Japanese game. This is probably Japanese to me. This is like the latest version of it. Oh, what was it called? Princess Maker? It was Princess Maker. I loved that game, loved it to bits. You basically, you're in charge of this lovely young lady and you have to tell her what she's gonna eat because you know in Japan they're obsessed with that eating so there's freaking every <gasps> nationality that <sighs> loves food <sighs> so we got we got skills that's like what you want to tra um, train her in so we have royal demeanor which is like a little posh conversation how good can she talk to you expression can she express herself? Agility? Can she like run or even just walk? That's amazing for a princess. Weapons? Do you want the princess to be a badass bitch? Athletics? Again, do you want to be really super fit? Animal handling? She can move. Falcons? That's right. Intellectual? Do you want her to be smarty? With history? Intrigue? So she can like spy stuff there. Medicine? I think they'll come in, well it does. I'm not gonna say anything because I've played this before. That comes in handy because this game is about not dying and it's also about being the best queen you can be. It's really a hard game. Economics, you know, she good with money. It's kind of important when you're running a kingdom. Military, can she boss men around or women into, you know, sacrificing themselves and be like, oh look, this strategy's great, just go right into the pit. Alright, so mystical, this is more like kind of the magical side of it, so faith is like their religion, and then lumen is how good is she is with magic, and that does come into play later on. Right, so, oh, this is the other thing, there's a lot of things in this game. So we have mood, I clicked in it, but not obviously not hard enough, there we go. Okay, so, we have... Angry versus afraid, cheerful versus depressed, willful versus yielding. In this case, no one knows what that means. Yielding is like, um, just like obeying whatever you say. So she'll obey whatever her dad says. She'll go with the rules. Willful is like, no, no, I don't think so. And then she just does whatever she wants. Pressure is, is she stressed? You know, does she feel like there's just too much being a princess? Oh God, the responsibility. Lonely is, oh. Even though she's a princess in a castle with maids and servants and a father who obviously loves her or just talks to her a lot, she can still be lonely. It's still possible in this game. Outfit. Outfit. 
that's your options so far. It's uh, done. Yep, a nice pink, pinky thing. Log. So this is what you're going to save your games. So you can now attempt to save your log and read them in the log file. But no, I don't want to do that. Oh, sorry. That's log if you want to put it online or something. I don't know. That's the menu. So menu would be. Save. <laughs> yep. Woohoo! So, to play the game, I click on skills. And, oh my god, I don't remember. I just click on what I want. Wait, how do I do this? I forgot how to get to the next one. Oh, there. Oh my god. Classes. This is how you interact with the game. So you pick what you want her to learn. Only two things at a time. It sucks, but that's exactly like Princess Maker. It's a very hard game. Oh, side note, in Princess Maker, you can make your daughter a delinquent because you're playing as the dad. Okay, let's go and I want to make her economics. Animal handling, dogs, medicine, conversation. You know, you can cheat and look up how to do this right. I have done that before because I got so frustrated with this game. What's uh, do you call it manners? Let's make it polite. Done. Oh, week one morning. You visit the kennel to learn about different breeds of dogs. Oh, that's wonderful. You are too depressed to focus properly on the subject right now. See, this is when the emotions come into play. If she's upset and having a bad day, she won't learn any, anything, nothing. What's all this noise outside? Who's here? Ah, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Petelia. Thank you. You will look well, niece. Hi, Amadi. Hi, Amadi. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mommy said we'd be here all month. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Okay, now that we've finished studying, what are we going to do this weekend? I think we're going to... Oh, see, it says minus one, that means it takes off a depressed point. So here you can, I can pray, I can play with toys, and see plus one cheerful, so that's again going away from being depressed. That's how this works. We can sneak out and become willful, but then lonely because I'm alone. Walk in the gardens, talk to your father. Let's do that. Dad, can we talk? I'm sorry. Your uncle and I have things to do. Maybe another time. Oh. Well, that was not worth it. Alright, let's go to classes again. We'll do dogs again. Court manners. I'm pretty sure she's... Look how depressed she is. Wait. She's gone up a little bit. She's almost afraid. That is the best you can get in the game in the middle. Which is fun. She might learn. Let's see if she'll learn court manners. Let's do it. You learn about dogs grooming and the most common diseases and injuries that dogs suffer from. You will learn the standard commands for working with trained and hunting dogs and retrievers. You are too depressed to focus properly on the subject right now. <gasps> what's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect or honor. It's because you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am Moomin, as you would. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I am Moomin, as was she. And like every Moomin, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitorous for 200 years. I 
about how you corrupted my daughter. That is for the crown princess to decide. El Elodie, I don't know if I pronounced the name wrong. I'm really sorry. Elodie, your mother trusted me and had much to teach. Okay, send her away and press her. That's kind of cool. Let her stay. I'm gonna let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. As you wish. More options. So we can talk to the little girl or the duchess. I'm gonna talk to the duchess. What is it that you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know that if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for any Lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you bond it with it, it becomes part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have the crystal? Of course. Oh, of course, why, why don't I have the crystal? Yeah, yeah, go Duchess. Whoa, camera zoom in. She holds out her hands like flick is above her bosom. <laughs> and then with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. It's like a clover thing, it's blue. You reach out to touch it and it dissolves away into nothing, just like real money and gems. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. We need to find the crystal that belongs to you. And she's still sad. This is really depressing. She's got a lot of things to think about already. So her mood. Still depressed. We're not gonna teach her court manners. It's not gonna work. I've learned my lesson. Uh-huh. Let's let's go to classes. Fun. Uh, let's just go with dogs. Dogs will cheer up. Week three. You practice working with trained dogs in a small area, telling them to stay, search, and fetch. You choose a young puppy and begin raising him to respond to you over all others. Yay, we get a puppy! A puppy! Your skill in dog is now 50! You may not increase the skill until other animal handling skills are 25 or higher. We've learned everything about dogs! Yay! He loves me, he loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Oops. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursula rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. No, not you, at your feet. Like what? Princess, don't move. Pearl still looked down. Hmm. I personally would hold still. Oh, my composure failed. How are we supposed to? We're we supposed to have already done composure. That's why this game is so hard. You want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold position without peeking. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass! Not a snake! And I'm afraid. You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. Eee! The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside. Oh my god, that's so sweet. And the fang... Oh god, and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. <laughs> That's the sound of a snake. <laughs> it's the best I can do. Naughty! Too late. Julian swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What is going on now? Okay, let's do that again. Is going on out here. Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get on herbalist right away. 
I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. We'll be returning home to Mevia immediately. Your aunt has a point. No fibers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Really? Really? Will Shana to be okay? I don't know. Oh shit. We already lost the girl. This is hardcore game. Visit her again? Talk to my dad. My dad's... What can I gonna say to me? Talk about, you know, our daughter bonding time, I guess. Alright. I think we'll go to... Let's... Well, we gotta cheer her up. She's just so depressed. Yeah, let's play with some toys today. Spend the weekend. Hold up the load in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish. But you feel a bit better. Oh, that's great. Oh, look, she's kind of. I don't know. I, th I think she's changed her face a bit. Let's check out her face and her mood. So she's less depressed. Uh, look how long it takes. It's just one little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's still good. And that's still crap. So. She's learned everything about dogs. We can't. We can't get any more advanced than dogs. She's got a puppy. She's ready to go with dogs. We don't need to touch dogs anymore. So, what should we do next? We've got history. We got royal demeanor. important thing maybe medicine because someone else is gonna try and kill her we got to she's what 14 we got it sorry sweetheart people are trying to kill you because you're a princess oh, no. all right you practice walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time every day so if you want to uh, Tell someone how to practice running. Tell them that you are walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time. That's how you practice how to like start to run. It's very specific. Okay, the first treatment for most ingested poisons is to purge the stomach by forcing the victim to eat powdered charcoal, which can absorb dangerous substances. Mm-hmm. Charcoal. That's good to know. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte. How, how did that snake get her? But her mother said she's okay. So I guess it turned out all right. Oh, not really. She got bitten by a snake at your place. But whatever. <laughs> Maybe she has a guardian angel. <laughs> she sounds cheerful now. Let's make her play with toys again. So yielding is, I think, obedient, isn't it? I said that before. I should know by now. Okay. She still looks like shit. She still looks like shit. She looks like crap. Alright. Mood. Oh, here we go, here we go. Getting better. Uh oh. Yeah, I've done too much yielding, see? It's like it's like playing the Sims. Your Sims are always constantly complaining, either shitting themselves or, or just going, it's Alright. Classes. Okay, so we got I like running and I like this, so let's let's go for it. You switch back and forth between a brisk walk and a light, bouncing jog. Not too fast. You're building endurance rather than speed. 
Again, another training tip for everyone who's learning how to run. Certain poisons will counteract each other, such that either on their own will kill the victim, but carefully applied and match a matching amount of the other will cure. Ah. One of the maids approaches for your attention. <gasps> dun dun dun. My lady, cartoons have arrived from the Duke of Sindorf. We have a Duke of Sindia? I, I can't, I'm sorry, I, I can't pronounce that. Sindia? <laughs> no, my lady. The Duchess India is in Tatsal. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of people you regret. Best wishes? Oh, what a beautiful necklace! That came out of nowhere. Something sparkly will make me feel better. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that necklace is poisoned. Don't wear it, princess. Yielding and afraid. Ah, oh, so it makes her more obedient and less... No, no, because it's plus one. Ah, oh, let's just do it. I don't know. <gasps> you creep through the cows and dungeons, catching a glimpses here and there of the fate that awaits troublemakers in this kingdom. Even nobles can end up here sometimes. It's a good reminder to stay on the... Wait. It's a good reminder to stay on the straight and narrow. That's right, kids. Stay on the straight and narrow and you will not get killed or sent to the dungeons. She still looks scared. Oh, princess, you're just too hard to please. Uh, that's good. Now the rest has gone south. Great. Fantastic. All right. Classes. Shh. Let's keep going with the classes until she's like 50%. You steadily increase the portion of time you spend jogging with shorter breaks of walking to recharge your energy. If a victim is stabbed with the poison pine of a sea urchin, remember kids, sea urchins, they're everywhere. The spine must be removed carefully and the affected area soaked in very hot water in order to cook out the poison. Let's cook out poison, kids. Sounds great. Do you love me a bowl of poison? As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. <gasps> ah, this is like a terrible thought because it's got brackets, so it's not, I'm not saying it, but I'm, I'm thinking it in my head. <coughs> The Duchess of Ursula. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching, gently touching, as they speak. Mm. Looks like she's busy. Why am I so excited about that? She looks like she's busy. I don't get it. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. You know, they're, they're touching hands gently, so just, whew. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Uh oh someone leaving. Was that a servant, a thief, or an assassin? Hmm, oh my God. You call up to look over the hedge. Doesn't that feel like you, it's like in this game it's all about not dying it's like do you want to die do you want to call security maybe not die or do you want to survive um i want to survive you rush back to the safety of your stone tower better safe than sorry oh what can i do to make her happy oh look you can check the mood here i want her to be more willful she's really afraid I think we've got to fix that first. She's, she's, no wonder she hid in the bush. She's terrified. All right, afraid. Mm. Afraid, afraid, afraid. So that makes, I'm gonna 
less lonely, less afraid, isn't it? Plus one. Or is it my... I don't know anymore. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when we check her mood. Oh, you wander through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spider webs. Yuck. Skip ahead. Alright, let's check out the mood. What did we do? Oh no, plus one means, you know, make her more afraid. I'm sorry, I screwed it up. Alright, I think this will be the last time we do this and then we're fully skilled at poison and running. We practice jogging solitary. Oh no, we still. What? Oh no, I think we should be almost done. 44.51. Okay. We practice jogging solitary for a long. I read that wrong. You practice jogging solitary for longer stretches of time and learn how much food and water you need before and after in order to keep your body going. So she's learning how to eat and run. This princess is hardcore. Afternoon. It is possible to become immune to the venom of a particular snake by routinely ingesting very small amounts. Ugh. However, this protection is temporary and will not provide any help against other snakes. It's not the best, I don't know. Is that, is that useful? Do you feel like it's useful? I don't really think. Um. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. <gasps> oh, what? I failed. Before you can react, she barrels into you, Whoa! sending you and the sheets flying. Oh, not the sheets. Oh, my lady, I'm so sorry. Alice, whatever, court manners failed. Oh, punish her or apologize? I'm going to be really boring. I'm going to apologize. No. Oh, I'm depressed. What? Okay. Um, no, it was my fault. I should have gotten out of your way. If you say so, my lady. So it sounded like she didn't like that the princess was apologetic. But then what would happen if she was a bitch to her? Would she be like, oh, my lady, my lady. You can't please people, can you? Alright. Mood. We have to minus the afraid. Gotta remember, minus the afraid. Or even plus cheerful. No, 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 plus angry. It has to be plus angry. Nothing makes her angry, does it? Um. Oh, let's just visit her. How do I find my lunar crystal? Your father probably knows what happened to it. What if he destroyed it? They can't be destroyed. How could he throw it away? But then someone else might have found it. No, he'll keep it safe. But if it's mine, it wouldn't matter if someone else found it. It's attuned to you, but you haven't bonded with it yet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I haven't bonded with my freaking crystal. If it found a compatible host, someone who was like you in some way, it could bond to them. What? Thanks a lot, lady. That was helpful. Not really. Mood. I'm still shitting bricks. Classes. <sighs> this game's very hard. I might trade in something else. I feel like I, I'll keep running. Let's do Battlefield of Medicine. Or shall I do something else? Conversation, because I, I can't talk for shite. Alright, done. Morning. You learn the proper techniques and clothing for running. Oh, you learn how to dress, how to run. <laughs> okay, girls. Don't run while wearing a dress. You might slow you down. You learn the proper techniques and clothing for running in different kinds of weather to avoid frostbite, overheating, or disease. We did it! Oh yeah! Oh, ho, ho. Whoa! We can run! You review the correct grief.
ratings for guests according to rank and when ex uh, when to extend your hand to another for all nobles expect their due honors sounds like a really boring lesson there's a man here to see you he wishes crown funding for his uh, for a project of his remember the treasury is not unlimited if you choose to invest you will have less money to work with later uh, your royal highness i have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be removed and reused i need to borrow 875 lassi to assemble the metal and a factory to mold and cast the type with this system, we'll be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now, and make copies to send all over the world. Oh, I should have learnt about the trade. Okay. I don't know much about factories or trade, but that'd really be worthwhile. Let's see what the princess decides, now that I haven't trained you in that area. We are not interested. Curse you not, princess, because you're a dumbass. All you know is about medicine and dogs and how to run. She's gonna be great. She's gonna, she's gonna rule the kingdom like nothing else. Guarantee. Mood. Great. Minus is great. Minus is great. Mine. Oh. Well, if anyone is actually watching this, I'm like, thank you. I kind of didn't really look at this properly, did I? You just have to make people religious to be less afraid. That's what I've learned now in this game. You attend services in the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Oh, that's so nice. She doesn't look very calm, and she's still holding a fist to her chest, so maybe she's got some heart problems. I don't know. She doesn't look that good. I think they lied about her experience at the church. We might have to stop it there for this uh, let's play of Long Live the Queen, mainly because I'm hungry and I can't argue with my stomach about this because stomach always wins. Okay, so next episode we'll find out what we can do to make her less depressed, hopefully, and maybe we'll encounter more attempts in the her being assassinated. So, thank you for watching. I'm Dollface, and I will see you next time.